Hello and welcome back. So it turns out that uh, this error is caused by uh, because actually this is the first time I'm seeing this error before. Uh, it seems the error is caused by too many connections to our MySQL PDO. It seems we're creating an infinite loop somehow of connections and then it's running out of memory. So I think what's happening is that um, because this first here, for example, this function here, if we go to the model, right? There's this function here. This function calls the query, which uh, also has this type of thing as well after select. So it seems it just keeps repeating, looping and looping over and over again. Because if you notice, the error is not on the login page itself. It's on the home page, actually. If I click home like this, I go back to the login. And if I try to log in, uh, let's see here. Yeah, then I, I get this. So it seems the problem is we are creating an infinite loop of connections. So what we will do is for now, before I find a permanent solution, I need to move, especially this uh, function, this query function from the database to the model. I need to find a way to move that so that it's not in the database thingy here because I don't want it to have this, which is leading to too many connections at the same time. Okay, so for now, what we will do is we'll go back to our model. Our temporary solution is in the user model, which is going to remove the get school name over here. So let's remove that function completely. And let's go and remove the after select here. We'll add this later once we fix this problem permanently. And in the, uh, okay, so the things are okay here. Things are okay in the model. So now, since we've removed that, we still have the problem of when we log in, we don't get the school name. So instead, to avoid creating infinite loops, let's just read from here at this point. Before we authenticate, let's add the school name to this row. So we can easily do that by getting the school uh, class. So we're just going to say new school because this is the one that reads from the school table. And I'm just going to say school row, something like this, is going to be equal to the school class. And let's use uh, first just to get one record. And the record will be the school ID, will depend on the school ID. So let's get school ID because that's what we have from the user's row. So in here, we have the school ID from the user's row. Like so. Okay. So once we read this, we'll have a row which has the school, which is the school row itself. Then all we need to do is add it to this user row by saying school name. We're adding one more property called school name and we'll equate it to the school row school. Let's put this here, school row school. Now I'm using school because that's the column that contains the school name in the school table. So we're just adding it here. All right, so now that we've added it to the login, uh, things may work out better. So let's see here because that cannot cause an infinite loop. And then let's put password and enter. So at least now we have the school name there as soon as we log in. Yeah, yeah. But uh, don't worry, I'll find a permanent solution to that because we still need the after select in the user. Uh, thingy here. Uh, yeah. 
I think where the problem is maybe <clears throat> no I'll have to sit on this one and figure out what really is causing an infinite loop here because it seems I'm going back and forth from the same object creating many connections at the same time but I'll figure it out eventually so now that we have that that is good at least we can see what school we are on and we have our schools here we have staff members students classes uh, tests doesn't have anything yet but uh, so far everything else seems to be working fine so let's look at how to add a dashboard now that we've solved this issue here uh, let's do that in the next video